Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, in the Big Ten on Saturday, there's a game between the high-powered offenses, the Purdue Boilermakers going on the road at the Maryland Terrapins. Who do I think is going to win this game? Let's break it down. Now, Purdue to start this season is 3-2. and two. And Jeff Brom has definitely elevated Purdue from where they used to be. They used to be one of the worst Big Ten programs, but they're now very respectable, and now they're actually a really good program. To start this season, though, they've had some interesting results. They lost to Penn State 35-31 to in a heartbreaker. This was a game that they probably should have won, but Penn State went down the field at the end and got a touchdown. They beat Indiana State 56 to nothing. It's always good to blank a team like that. And then they lost at Syracuse 32-29 to in a game that they also probably should have won. Purdue could easily be 5-0, and but unfortunately they couldn't get that win either. And then they beat Florida Atlantic 28-26, to but then they won at Minnesota 20-10. to And this was a good win. Mo Ibrahim was out for Minnesota, but that was a good win for Purdue to get that win. A lot of people thought Minnesota would win. And in that Minnesota game, quarterback Aiden O'Connell had 199 yards and two interceptions. And he had 10 rushing yards, so not his best performance. But when Aiden O'Connell does his best, him and Stetson Bennett are the two walk-on quarterbacks that are very good in college football. They made a name for themselves, and he can really play. So if he plays really good, they can beat almost anybody. Running back Devin Mockaby at 112 yards and a touchdown, and running back Dylan Downing at 32 yards and a touchdown against Minnesota. Wide receiver Charlie Jones at 55 yards. He's really good. He does a lot of things for the Purdue offense. And tight end Payne Durham at 21 yards. They need to get the ball to him more because he's probably an NFL talent. Very good tight end. Cornerback Bryce Hampton at seven tackles. Linebacker Samisi Fakasiki at five tackles. Defensive tackle Branson Dean at three tackles. And linebacker Jacob Wahlberg at two tackles and an interception. Purdue's defense is a lot better than it used to be in the past. Their defense was awful, but they're a lot better now, and they're actually even respectable on that side of the ball. On the Maryland side, Maryland is 4-1 to start this season, and Coach Mike Loxley has definitely made Maryland a better program than they used to be a few years ago when they were horrible, but now they're playing a lot better football. They beat Buffalo 31-10 in the first game of the season. That was a good win. Then they won at Charlotte 56-21. It's tough to win on the road at a group of five, but they got it done. Then they beat SMU 34-27. That was a good win because SMU is a decent group of five then they lost at michigan 34 to 27 in a game that they were actually competitive at the big house that was a really good game for maryland to show the country that they are a good team even though they didn't get the win and then they beat a struggling michigan state team 27 to 13 a very good performance for maryland there and in that michigan state game quarterback talia tagavaloa had 314 yards and a touchdown and he had 18 rushing yards the, obviously the brother of tua he's really good and he's trying to follow in his footsteps and get in the NFL and I think he can if he continues to play the way he is and reduce the interceptions that he used to have. Running back Antoine Wilton the second had 120 yards and a touchdown against Michigan State. He's a beast of a running back. Maryland used to not be able to run the football as well. They're getting a lot better and they got a great receiving core. Wide receiver Deshaun Jones at 60 yards. Wide receiver Rakeem Jarrett at 41 yards and a touchdown and wide receiver Jacob Copeland at 26 yards. All of them played well against Michigan State, and all those receivers are playing fantastic all season. And that's not even counting Dante Demas. And Dante Demas is a good receiver as well. They got a great receiving core. Defensive back Tarheep still had six tackles on the defensive side of the ball. Defensive back Bo Bray had five tackles. And linebacker Ahmad McCullough had four tackles for Maryland. Both of these teams are very interesting, and on the fact that they're both very similar. Who do I think is going to win this game? As I said, both of these teams are very similar because they're both really good on offense. And it's not just good enough to be good at offense. You have to be good at defense as well. And both Maryland and Purdue are both improving on the defensive side of the ball. As you can see with Purdue, the most they've given up is 35 to Penn State. And on the Maryland side, the most they've given up is 34 to Michigan. So both of them are improving on the defensive side of the ball. And as you can see with the scorers on both sides, both teams are getting a lot better on offense. So again, who do I think is going to win this game? When I can't really tell between two teams on the talent-wise and who's better because both of these teams are very equal to me, I'm going to go with the home team here. And I'm going to pick Maryland to win over Purdue 35 to 31. Purdue could very well win this game like they did against Minnesota. 
But if Maryland, all their players are healthy, I think that them talent-wise in Purdue are both very similar teams. I think both teams are really good on offense, and I think both teams are improving on defense. I don't really think either team has an advantage really over the other, but I think the home field is really the only advantage that Maryland's going to have over Purdue, and I have Maryland and Mike Loxley beating Jeff Brown and Purdue 35-31. to Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below whether you think Purdue or Maryland's going to win and why. And I will see you next time.